Welcome to my new video. Today, I will tell you about Alexander the Great's inner circle, his friends and his generals, the Diadochi. But who were the Diadochi? They were successors of Alexander the Great. They carved up his empire, some of them became kings, and some of them did not last for a long time. I will, I will tell you their stories here. Slides. Ptolemy. We will start with Ptolemaios. He was born in the year 367 BC and from his youth he was friend of Alexander the Great. His teacher was Aristotle and he had to go to exile but he returned to Macedonia after Alexander took the throne. He then fought with Alexander in the Battle of Chironea in Persian campaign. He fell to love with Egypt. He then managed to capture Bezos, the assassin of the Persian king Darius III. He married Persian princess Aparme. After Alexander the Great's death, he became the leader of Egypt. He captured Alexander the Great's body and moved it to Egypt. He then married again with Berenica, with whom he got his successor. Ptolemaios II. Ptolemaios also had his own military campaign. He fought against Antigonos. He became pharaoh in the year 305 BC. His dynasty lasted for three centuries until the end of independent Egypt after a Roman conquest. His kingdom lasted the longest time from the kingdoms of Alexander's successors. Antipatros. Antipatros was born in the year 397 BC. He worked for Alexander's father, Philip II. He was sent to Athens to create peace with them. He then tried to stop Alexander from attacking the East, but he did not succeed. It. He then became satrap of Greece and Macedonia. Alexander then sent Crater to take rule over the regions. But this happened in time of Alexander's death, so Antipatros kept his power. He became regent of the empire, but the Macedonian empire then crumbled onto several pieces. He had to take care about some rebellions. Patros died after some years in year 319 BC. He did not make his son ruler, but he made Polyperchont ruler, which created new conflicts. And when bold Cassander breaks. Cassander, the son of Antipatros. He was born in the year 355 BC. He declared war on Polyperchon and he won, defeating Polyperchon and becoming king of Macedonia. He then came to war with Alexander the Great's mother, Olympias, who killed many of his allies, but Cassander then managed to kill her. He then also killed Alexander's son and wife, securing his rule over Macedonia and killing off the Macedonian royal dynasty. Demetrius, son of Antigonos, then declared war on Ptolemaios, Seleucos and Lysimachos. Together with Cassander, this alliance then successfully defeated Antigonos and his son Demetrius. Cassander died in year 297 BC, probably on tuberculosis. We will move to Lysimachos. He was born in the year 361 BC in Pella, the capital city of Macedonia. He was also a close friend of Alexander the Great. He achieved many successes in the Indian campaign of Alexander the Great. After Alexander's death, he became a ruler of Thracia. Here, he defeated several rebellious tribes and he became king in the year 306 BC. He then joined alliance against Antigonos. Antigonos was then defeated in the Battle of Ipsus, and Lysimachos gained territories in Asia. He then began to fear of Seleucus empire. But his problems lied in Greece, where the son of Antigonos, Demetrios, took power from Cassander, son of Antipatros. After Lysimachus failed con conquest tribes behind the Danube, Demetrius decided to attack Lysimachus. 
but he failed. The Simachos then managed to create alliance with Perhos. After the attack from both sides, Demetrios lost. After they taking King of Perhos' troops, the Simachos became King of Macedonia. After several years, there were several family problems, and the Simachos decided to attack Seleuk. This was a mistake because he lost in battle of Kurupedia. His body was protected by his dogs until his son Alexander found it. He was then buried in Lysimachia. Seleucus Nicator Seleucus was born in year 358 BC. Seleucus went with Alexander to Persia. His greatest success in this great campaign came in battle at Hippaspe. After the death of Alexander, he wasn't made satrap of any province, but he was first in command of Perdikas, the regent of Alexander's unborn Perdikas death tried to invade Ptolemaeus Egypt, but he was assassinated by a coup, in which Seleucus took part. From this, he became satrap of Babylon, then helped Antigonus to defeat Eumenos on the east. Seleucus then began creating his empire, but he had to flee from Antigonus. Who became a threat, fled to Egypt. And there, he created an alliance to defeat Antigonus. Both of them then peaced out in year 309 BC, with Seleucus taking some territory. He then tried to conquer Alexander the great parts of India. Here, he fought with Chandra Gupta, who was a grandpa on famous Ashok the Great. But Seleucus did not succeed, so they too made a peace with Seleucus losing some territory, but he got 500 war elephants. He then went to war with Antigonus again and this time defeating him. After some time he went to war with Lysimachos, defeating, defeating him and gaining almost all the territory of Alexander's empire, except Egypt, but he was assassinated shortly after he crossed into Greece. He was the last of the Adogs who tried to reunify the Alexander's Empire. This is end of part 1. Next week will come out part 2. You can give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss the second part. And much more videos like this. Goodbye.